Okay, so let me show you my blackberries going into the winter. This is fall, middle of November. Had a frost, killed most of the grass as you can see, but has not uh, uh, not put a dent in the blackberries, and typically it doesn't. Around here, they will the leaves will start to turn purple. Uh, most of the leaves on here will, after about a month from now maybe, will start to get purple. Uh, but a lot of them will stay attached. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it, they don't they don't completely shed their leaves. That's what I'm trying to say. It is a very windy day. I've got my little dead cat on the microphone hoping that muffles, muffles everything. And remember now, these are the ones that I mowed down uh, July, when I say mowed down. I mowed about maybe 18 inches tall, something like that. And this is the growth that I've gotten from them. That is, uh, that is a prime gem, and that's four feet tall. So that's not bad. I had to take my trellises down to mow, and because I, I didn't really think I'd get this kind of growth. That's uh, that one. There's three feet long. That one there's four feet long. Four feet long. That's the one I just showed you. When I'm out in the aisle, there it's probably three feet long. So I've gotten quite a bit of quite a bit of there's four feet uh, a lot more growth than what I thought I was gonna get mowing them down like I did uh, I've got a bunch of them coming up several of them out in the aisle there's one one a pretty good size one right there I can dig those up and uh, plant those in here uh, in the dead spaces for winter still got a gopher problem uh, till I solve the gopher problem I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. These are not blackberries. Those are looks like elm trees or something. I need to cut those out. I've got several of those. But um, I hope you can hear me with the wind blowing like this. But anyway, this is the uh, this is my experiment, my project, my mowing them down like I did. Some of them have have just kind of sit here. Some of them have not done a whole lot. But many of them, and this is uh, I can feel right here that how loose how soft the soil is and I can see a gopher run right there so it could very well be that up here they're not doing as well because most of the gopher traffic I see is up toward this end uh, I don't know the gophers just lazy too lazy to go the other end or what um, anyway this is uh, this is it it's not bad uh, we'll definitely have some blackberries next year and I uh, just thought I'd show you about winterizing the blackberries. Um, I'm not, I never do anything to winterize them. Uh, but again, this is, this is East Texas and not uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan. So I don't know what you would do there. Um, or I don't know what these will do there. They may completely shed all their leaves and, and you know, look like, a, look like the trees do. Uh, in the winter time, but this is pretty much standard of what they look like uh, By now they're usually a little bit more purple, but by now we've had more cold weather than what we've had this year. So Some more gopher problems over there I guess they are coming down here to this end Anyway, uh, I may or may not dig some of these up and fill in these dead places on this row uh, I, I probably I probably will. I'll get a little burst of burst of I care. Uh, but the gophers have kind of just really knocked the wind out of my sails on these things. And uh, anyway, I just thought I'd show you those. Um, I, I got a lot more growth than what I expected on some of the plants. They just look look healthy. They look nice. Um, but some of the plants not so nice. Uh, but all in all, not bad. Not bad at all. I've got the dead spots. Again, my opinion, that's gophers. Dead spot. Dead spot right there. Uh, I think it's all gopher. Now that row right there, it's not really not a row. Uh, I killed that on purpose. Don't know what I'm going to do. If, I'm, if, I'm, if the blackberries aren't going to do well, I may plant some uh, fruit trees in that row or uh, some more grapes in that row just not sure about that yet 
but this is the blackberries they've done better than i thought better than i thought uh didn't really have to water them this this year very much because we had such a wet summer july august raining all the time uh stopped raining at the end of august and uh, we had about six or eight weeks of dry and I, I did have to water them some then anyway this is a uh, this is it it doesn't look like doesn't look like much but if you saw the the video when i mowed them down <laughs> it looks a whole lot better than it did when i first mowed them down but that's what uh that's what blackberries look like going into the winter and they will uh, most of these right before springtime right before the new cane start coming up most of them will lose most of their leaves but not all of them and uh, again the leaves turn to a, a real nice uh, uh, purple red purplish color and uh, you know kind of pretty out here to, to look at them most of them will, will look like that so thought I'd show you that um, really not much else to do to them we've had enough rain I think yeah, I don't think I need to water them but I need to come out here with some fire ant bait and uh, kill the fire ants and with some gopher traps, gopher bait, gopher traps, go for something and try to kill them, try to get them out of here. All right, I think we go.